Oh, I didn't see you there. Yes, it's Mitch Robinson, international superstar. I am here in Adelaide, Adelaide Oval. It is gather round. I've flown specifically just for this, nothing else. It is gonna be amazing. I'll be at Port Adelaide versus Essendon Bombers, both two and one. I'm on Grand MC with lovely Ash. She's gonna be helping me tonight. This is my second time doing it, so I'm gonna pop my cherry again tonight. Uh, we are very excited. Follow me around, show you what it's all about. Oval looks smick. Look at the oval, look at that, everybody. Oh my goodness gracious. Currently 18 degrees with a little bit of Stuart Jude later on on the ground tonight, I think. That means the ground will be a little bit greasy. So enjoy the ride. Rob Dog's here, gonna love this. So we had to get to the venue about six hours before the game actually kicked off. And I, as you know, I had, look at that left foot, still got it, Robbo. As you know, I had a fight two nights before this, so I was absolutely buggered, but my ADHD got me going through the day. Now I had to be serious and get back to it. Um, so just before we run through things, just in terms of like the cues that we use. So when I'm like, I will always obviously count you in. And what comes with being an on-ground MC, you have to do pre-recorded things as well. So we're at the item shop, just pumping that up. Got to meet one of the best DJs going around he was a good fella I had to talk to him get him going and this is the pump up we need all right it's a big game guys we really owe this mob a win all right coach on three coach on me one two three coach out that was the first take <laughs> first take i can get past all these guys i reckon you'd be able to take i love those hooves mate how you do say hello And here we have Matty Richardson coming to say congratulations on the fight, mate. Good result. And I was like, thank you. And then it is Luke Hodginator, my guy. Gets shy when the camera's around. Good catching up with the guys. Oh, what the? Sammy Draper getting in those incredibly deep squats. Look at that man do his thing, that mullet. Yeah, and just doing a little bit of a dance here. Getting myself warm. I was getting pretty cut. Oh, late camera back up. Camera back up. Awesome. Let, the kids? Let, me, let me know if you got any more issues with yeah, that. <laughs> now, if you had a prediction for the result, what do you think it's going to be? Do you think it's going to be a bit of a tight tussle? The crazy Port Adelaide fans are going to get up and about early, get it going with their silly Terrace Apart thing, or do you reckon the Essendon is going to be ready to go? I think it's going to be a tight tussle, but I reckon we're going to, you know, win maybe by a goal or so. What do you reckon, Mitch, you run on right now? I could get to the outside of the ground in half a minute. In half a minute? So after getting the crowd absolutely on their feet and excited for the game ahead, we made our way up to the viewing room and had a little look at the game. To oh, Draper! Oh! Breaking news, Port Adelaide fans have been ordering special beers outside the venue. Back to you, Ed Empire. These are the spit guards, aren't they? They are, indeed. It's definitely a spit on there.
great goal, Willie. That was a fantastic goal. Oh, hey guys, Mitch here. It is currently three quarter in the game versus Essendon and Port Adelaide. Yes, and start again. <laughs> hey guys, it is Mitch Robinson here. Uh, I'm having a little bit of break watching the footy that we all love. And it's uh, in the third quarter. Ash is the professional here. She does all the games in Victoria. Collingwood supporter, which I won't hold that against her, but she's doing great things in this space. So we have the script right. We go through it vividly. It has a lot of ad lib stuff in there, so that's where I flourish. Um, and then we'll go down at three quarter time, talk to the crowd again, a few shenanigans from my end. Uh, after the game, we'll go down, talk to a few of the players, which you guys will love. I know you will. I dare say I'll be talking to the Port Adelaide players because they're dominating. Connor Rosie so far has like high 20s and three goals by half time, mind you. That's Robinson like. That's about it. Stay golden, pony boy. Living the dream. Look at that view. And look back at me. And look at the view again. And look at me. And look at Lee. Then one more time. Yeah, yeah. How's that? Okay. Do you um, host events? Yeah, you'll be, you'll kill that. You'll be really good at that. There, and we'll just have some general crowdies, and then while that's happening, um, we're going to continue. I want to kick camera. that. I oh, thought we did last year. That's stiff. What are we doing again? Yes, well, that's going to come up on the screen in a second, but I want to see who the smartest team supporters are in the country. Who have we got here for the smartest team supporters? We have. Oh my goodness, is that Port Adelaide at the bottom? Collingwood have. At third, oh, okay, there must be a mistake there, but we have Geelong at number one. That is the smartest supporters in the country, Geelong. But of course, it's going to change. It's going to be a up on the screen now. Head to the AFL app, and of course, start participating with that. what Dana was saying, so yeah, couldn't hear, but it's pretty cool, like I've still got it, obviously. Was it just the team will be alive? Yeah, we're loud, like yeah. I couldn't hear, it was crazy, yeah. but there was one, one guy there shouting him, he just kept saying, Rob, and I was like, yeah, fuck it, Rob, so it was a lot of fun. Just met the man who started the Robo Chant. I don't know if you better hear it because my mic <laughs> fell down my pants. We started the Power Chant, we started the Robo, ch Robo it. Chant. It brought back old feelings of me being the pub Mate, going Adelaide, beers. we Kill love it. you, we appreciate you. We I lived here for you. a year, I was a, I'm a Westies boy. Really? Yeah, Flagstaff Hill, represent. I like Bo Waters, he was a good player. Yeah, Hard as nails. Is that your dad? <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Have a good night. You know, you know what I'm saying? Every time I see you play, you're playing, John. I oh, appreciate that, man. Do you want to give a big shout out to the camera for Rob Logs? What do you want to say, Rob Logs? Rob Logs, fucking O. Rob Logs, one love, baby. One love, baby. One love. Rob, big Rob Logs fan, let's go. That's a, that's a touch or oh, that's a touch? Game over, baby. Let's go find a player. Who do you want? I don't know. Maybe Connor Rose. Maybe I'll talk to myself. Well, but how was the game? Pretty fucking boring. But we had fun. We made it fun. She had a coach over putting me on. Put out the fans were great. They didn't spit on me. I loved it. Let's go talk to a player. Zachary Butters. What's up, brother? Ah, oh, shut up. We are here with Zach Butters, mate. What a win tonight. What's that mean to the team? We're sitting currently third now on the live ladder. What's it mean to the boys? Yeah, we had a good start to the year. Um, a few wins to start off and then a good, good contest last week. Mate, congratulations. Great work. Have a great night and I uh, celebrate. Thanks, brother. Over to you, Ash. Oh, over there. I you over there. I'd love, to, I'd love to talk to you. I'd love to. I wanted rosé. Yeah, I yeah, wanted it. You got the butter. What? Hey, what's it like to line up here for a shot for goal, eh? <laughs> 50 metres out. What was your range? 
it's probably 70, 60 or 70, but mate, exactly right. 60 meters, like, that was, like center square. Look at it. Come here. Easy. Tell me I couldn't. Nah, probably not that far. Love it, Connor, you're killing it. What's up guys, it's your boy Robbo. What's up guys, it's your boy Robbo. That's game done and dusted. I hope you enjoyed a little bit inside how to be an amazing on-ground MC. In foreign territory, mind you. Didn't get spat on. Crowd loved me, got around them. It's Mitch Robson reporting. Back to your channel 9.